welcome back. Up next is this week's Kansas Farm Bureau legislative update. We've been working on testifying, tracking several water bills this session. Um, some of them deal with things like the multi-year flex account program, which has been popular with many of our members, making it a little more flexible and easier to use. The Conservation Reserve Enhancement Program, expanding that to not only deal with water quantity issues, but also water quality and to help uh, address some of the uh, sensitive environmental areas of our state. Failure to submit a annual water use report is another bill that has been uh, going through the legislature, would increase uh, some of the, the penalties and uh, actually even provides for some short-term suspension of water rights if that doesn't happen. What it looks like now is we may have the uh, what we kind of refer to as the water mega bill developing that came out of the uh, Senate last week is now being rolled over into Senate substitute for House Bill 2059. It started out as a surface water fee bill and, and it will still have some of those provisions in it but in addition to that there have been some exemptions uh, considered for uh, allowing uh, liquid fertilizer to be injected into uh, irrigation systems from surface water storage facilities without being required to have a uh, chemigation permit. So we're keeping a close eye on that. Those are really the highlights of the bills. We'll be following these most closely up until the close of the session. Hope you enjoyed this week's legislative update. Stay with us for Dwayne's conversation with Mark Harms. Ag Promo Source is a unique group of marketing specialists with one mission, help your ag business grow. Each affiliate has their own area of expertise and they work together to bring you advice, products, and services. To get started, visit agpromosource.com. Ag Promo Source, together we grow.